Hello everybody, Constellasaur here, and we are back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. And if you're noticing, the game looks a little bit different. Um, you probably already guessed it already, but I have reshade on. We will not be playing the entire Let's Play, or this part for that matter, with reshade. I just thought it'd be fun to do the funny little intro with the reshade, because it's really pretty, and I'm really excited that I finally got it to work. So I hope you're all doing well, and yes, we are finally back, and I was right, this week was not the first week of the Equestrian Festival, so we are back in Golden Hills with the intention of continuing with these quests. And of course, this time we are here with my funny little Belgian Warmblood, Hollowbone. I was going to buy a Dutch Warmblood. I was really thinking about it because I really love them and I want to do the Equestrian Festival stuff with the Dutch Warmblood. That being said, we are getting new Dutch, two new Dutch Warmbloods with the Equestrian Festival, so we are going to wait for that before we get another horse. So with that out of the way, let's continue on and get started with these quests. Alright, so after some thought, we are actually, before we continue with the Golden Leaf Stables quest, we're going to head down to South Hoof Farm because I've forgotten about the rescue ranch, I've realized. And I think that it would probably be just a little bit of a good idea to go do that before we do anything else. That was so odd, <laughs> the way the foal was moving. Anyways, hello Lucy, looks like you've done all of your daily tasks. Shall we see how the foal is doing today? The foal is getting better, but still needs all the care it can get. I have currently taken care- you- sorry, you have currently taken care of this horse for this many days, too. I expect to, you to need to care for this horse for this many more days, zero. That's it, you're done for today. Make sure the rest up and come back tomorrow, the, the foal still needs your help. So is it like, oh, I'm stuck. So tomorrow is the last day. Yeah, all right, that works out. Let's go. Okay, you know, you're looking a little suspicious, my dude. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I need some help, Lucy. Unfortunately, a lot of garbage has been floating in from the ocean and washed up on our beautiful beaches. Not only is it an eyesore, but it's also dangerous for the horses riding along the beach at full speed. Please help collect the garbage along the beach and come back to me. We'll be happy to pay you for your help. Okay, and what's the second one? Here on the island, we don't take care we don't just take care of horses, we also make sure that people feel safe. There are lots of people who like to swim at our beautiful beaches, but the currents are strong and can't be treacherous. I have just received two life boys life boys bleh? Ah. Ah <laughs> I ordered from Fort Pinta. Can you hang these these two on the two bridges on the west side of the island, please? I can't speak. I've never claimed to be able to speak. Thank you, Lucy. More and more garbage washes up on the island every day, so I fear this won't be the last time we'll need help with this. Perfect. Now people can feel safe when they're out swimming on the ocean. Alright, the lost wallet. Now I need your help again, Lucy. Can you help me look for the wallet that Iwa lost when she was out expecting our, race our racetrack? Iwa is in charge of our competitions here at the stables, and she would be really happy if someone found her wallet for her. She thinks she lost it in the grove just north of our paddock. If you find it, please return it to her. All right, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, thank you so much. So kind of you. I'm so happy. No follow-up quests? Not gonna give me the race? Alright. I guess. Why don't you check with Iwa to s if the racetrack is ready to use? She don't. She didn't have enough time to finish inspecting the track as she was busy trying to find her wallet. But now that you've found it for her, maybe you can try out the track if you ask her. Wow, today is just not my day. I just cannot speak. <laughs> sure, Lucy, the course survived the winter well, but it needs final inspections before I can open it to the public. Maybe you would like to expect it for me? You just need to check that there are no dangerous branches sticking out from the jumps and that there are no trash lying around the track. I've marked out where the jumps are on your mini where the jumps are on your mini map so you can find them easily. Good luck. Alright, let's go. Great, then we can try it out soon. I just need to do a quick double check. And you gave me a timer. All right. So many recyclables down here. Okay, so I think we're gonna, I was gonna continue immediately with the pirates, but I think we're gonna run down to Jasper first. I don't think that's a long quest. I think that's just him giving the trailer. So we're gonna trailer down to the riding hall and then go speak to Jasper at his pumpkin farm. Here, Jasper, give me the trailer. You want to know if I fix the old tractor so you can transport your horse? Yes, that is exactly why I'm here. Ooh, recyclable. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I have repaired the tractor and it wasn't easy. It's been, it's just been parked here and falling to pieces for the last 20 years while I've been while I was being grumpy in Moreland. Anyways, I need your help to fix a few more things. Could you get some gas and sort a tractor driving and sort a tractor driving permit? Okay. Apply for the permit. Right over to the councilman with the application that I have already filled in. I downloaded the application from the internet and printed it out on my old printer. Have you heard about the internet? It's just a fad. Never gonna be a big thing, trust me. Now, pumpkin farming. That's always going to be a safe fat. A bet, trust me. I'm sure the councilman will approve of a temporary permit. Hurry, Lucy. All right. No diesel, no trailer. Sad, but true. Without the diesel, the tractor is just going to sit there with the pumpkins. See if you can buy some diesel from the Baroness at the vineyard. The vineyard? Vineyard. Uh, we're gonna go bother the Baroness first, I guess. I did not get distracted by the fancy little show jumping course on the way here because I totally didn't run past it. I don't know. I don't know why you would think that. Anyways. <laughs> Good day, Lucy. So nice to see you again, my friend. I see that grumpy old Jasper wants some diesel from me. Really? You say that Jasper isn't angry and bitter anymore? Hmm, we'll see how long that lasts. Jasper is bitter to his bones. Anyways, that grumpy old man is the grandfather of my grandson, Justin. And if I can help Justin by helping his grandfather, then you can have as much diesel as you want for free. It's the least I can do for you. Speak with Carney by the stables. He'll make sure that you get all the diesel you need. All right, let's go. Is there a quest with... Alex, or is she just kind of chilling there? Oh, that quest isn't with her. Who? Is it? You know what? No, no, we're not getting distracted. I'm very easily distracted. We're not going down there. Diesel for free? Well, it's really up to the Baroness and she pays for the bills. Here, Lucy, take this can and fill it with diesel for the tank over there. Then you can just ride back to Jasper with it. All right, where is, where is it over? It's over here. Yes. Yes. No. No. Um. Uh oh. I'm very easily just lost, I've noticed, which is very weird for the amount of years I've been playing this game. The game prompted me to go speak with the councilman, but his... What? Where do I... Oh! Silverglade, not the mayor. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm, I, I, I know exactly what's going on. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, all right. Hey Lucy, how's it going over in Golden Hills Valley? 
Oh, look, of course I can issue a traffic permit to Jasper. I'm glad to hear he's happy with his pumpkins and moving on with his life. That's great news. Here you go. This is the traffic permit for Jasper's tractor so he can use it on the roads again. All right. Okay. We're back on track somehow. I'm back. There was a little bit of multiple detours, but we're back. <laughs> What a surprise! That was real kind of the Baroness. Nice lady. Stylish and elegant. I wonder if I should invite her for tea and pumpkin pie someday. Well, anyway, let's fill up the tractor. Well done, Lucy. Uh-oh, we have a problem. I can't find the tractor keys. They must be somewhere out here on the farm. Can you help me look for them? Here, I'll mark the places I haven't looked yet on your mini-map. While you check there, I'll keep looking elsewhere. didn't find them either this is really frustrating let me think and another timer okay we're gonna go talk to the councilman watch because I decided to cut myself short when I did these quests I'm gonna get a timer almost immediately <laughs> but this shows that the thief may have gone even further than the labyrinth shore maybe you could look further down the beach to see if you can find any more clues yeah we're gonna go back and then I'm gonna end up getting a timer and I did this to myself <laughs> Rob. Yeah! Heavens above! What's this? A little land crab in our secret cave? What should we do with you? We can't just let you go. This is our secret smuggler's cave and we don't want anyone to find it. We may be crooks, but we're not common kidnappers. Why are you sneaking around our secret cave? Who, me? What are you talking about? I'm a bit lost. A spy for Mayor Claus looking for thieves. I'm looking for the key to the city. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't try to be clever. You only get one chance to answer my questions. What are you doing here? Um, looking for the key. The key to the city? Do you really think I have that? Maybe. Maybe you have it. Who knows? Ah, make up your mind. Give me a good reason not to lock you in here forever. I think you took the key to the city. Are you accusing me of stealing as if it were I were a common thief? How can you think that I have the key? Only because I believe. Because you have one leg. Because you look like a thief. <laughs> Ha! Billions of blue blistering boiled and barbecued barnacles. You have no evidence to back up your lies. False accusations. It's true. I don't actually have any evidence. Okay, I'll let you go anyways. This time, as we aren't the kind of criminals to hurt people. But promise me now that you won't tell anyone about us. Farewell. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a bit lost. But we can't just let you go. How can trust not give us- you can't, there's no solution, but I don't know either. Maybe you have something I want. Who are you? I don't see anyone. S I don't see anyone, so no one can see me. Uh... You can't, there's no solution to the problem. Damn it. Okay. Um... What? Uh... Spying! Don't try to be clever, you- uh... There's- I'm a bit lost. I don't know either. You have no idea how to solve this problem either. You'd better come up with a good idea on, of how to fix this or you're going to have to stay in this cave forever. We could always act like we've never met. Oh. Um, I don't know either. Maybe you have something I want. can't really tell you. Oh, okay. Um, there's no solution. I don't know either. Maybe you have something you want. I can't really tell you. Oh, wait. I'm a bit lost. I don't know either. I think you have the key to the city. Yes, I think you have it. Because you look like a thief, because you have one leg, only because I believe it. Uh...
but I know you took the key. You're accusing me of stealing, uh, you only have one leg. The reason only have uh, oh yeah, okay. Hmm. The reason there are only left footprints is because I only have one leg. Very clever of you. I'll give you the key and let you go if you agree not to tell anyone about us. Deal? Yes. Yes. The idea was to steal the key so we can make more uh, make more money smuggling things from Silverglade during the winter. We make quite a bit of money selling things that are hard to find here during the winter when the gates are closed. I admit it was wrong of us to take the key though. It was only right it's only right that the key given back to our circle owner. Okay. Here is the key to the city. Now you can give it back to the mayor on the condition that you don't disclose our hideout. Hopefully we won't be seeing each other again, lady. Um, I can almost assure that you are definitely gonna see me again. Another star Ayo I took the wrong path on the way back. <laughs> the key at last. Thank you for finding and re returning this important key. It is fantastic that the key is back. I am so happy, but can I ask you something? We never managed to find the key ourselves, so it makes, it make, that makes me curious about where you found it. I promise not to tell smugglers. Uh, found it a little further down the beach. Quite strange that none of us found it earlier, but thanks for your sharp mind, we finally have it back now. That's right. Now I understand what happened, Lucy. I hope you are enjoying your little fishing village. We are so happy you came to visit. Please make yourself at home. Alright. And then... Is there... Oh, we gotta go back to the smuggler's cave. We're gonna talk to the fishermen first. Just because I started those, and that's just gonna give me fishing dailies that I'm gonna have to work on miserably for a while again. And here I thought I was finally free, you know, <laughs> from doing them on my main account. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Traps need to be repaired. Of course the traps need to be fixed, otherwise there won't be any tasty crayfish in my traps. Pick up the broken traps and take them to the fishing equipment salesman, Mr. Loop. He runs a shop in town. It's in the southeast corner of the bridge here. Maybe you could fix my net too while you're at it. It's right here, but I just don't know what it takes to do this kind of work anymore. Mr. Loop does though, the old albatross. Okay, let's go, oh, we're not harassing him for the net. I am, no, okay. Am I harassing him for the nut? Who's in the corner here? Who am I harassing? I am. Okay. Mr. K. Mr. K. Trout's net is broken again. Strange. Sure, I'll fix it for him. And then that's a time clock, and we gotta go grab the things down here. Day. Here we have all sorts of fishing equipment for anyone from experts to beginners. I fix and sell everything to do with fishing. Can I fix the traps for Mr. K. Trout? Of course I can. Come back and pick them up tomorrow. I should have just finished them last week. I did this to myself. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? Okay. I'm just gonna slip on in. Stomach growling. Rob hungry. Need to eat cake. Bob? Bob outside and boat. Where is cake? Bob, where is cake? That's a fantastic question, actually. <laughs> Filthy land lovers. Hello, Lucy. Great to see you again. Rob just ran off and forgot to tie up the boat, so I can't get to shore. Here, take the rope. Nice catch. Tie it around the, that stump there, Lucy, so the boat doesn't float away. Hurry up. I've been, I've been out smuggling all night, so I am really, really hungry. I need to get up off this ship quick so Rob doesn't have time to eat everything bef we have before I get some food. We're putting it in here. And he fell in the water. All right. Good job, Bob. Ugh. This is typical. It's not your fault, Lucy. It is this cursed wooden leg that I've never learned to balance on. Lucy, can you help me up? Good, just reach out your hand. Wait, the current has got me. I can't swim against the current with this darn wooden leg. Help! I'm being washed out to sea, Rob. Help me. Oh, oh no. Bye, Bob. Uh-oh. Is the like shark gonna just spawn on him? Is that what's gonna happen here? Where is Rob? Rob just wants his cake, and honestly, I can't blame him. I also want the cake. Okay. Oh. 
Bob, if it's up to me and Rob, with me running into walls and Rob focused on his cake, Bob is just lost to see. Yum yum. Good, good cake. And you didn't share? Rob likes cake. Where is Bob? You didn't share the cake? Bob in the water? Floated away like little cork. Rob not eat cake now. Stupid cake. Can I have it? Rob find Bob. Where is Bob? You look... You look Labyrinth Shore. I look here. And I wasn't offered any cake. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm moving faster than I can clearly handle. Ugh, Lucy. The current was trying to drag me out to sea, but I managed to use my last strength to swim here. Ugh, I'm completely exhausted. Thank you. Here, just give me your hand. It is going to be so nice to be back on dry land again. I'm going to sit by the fire in the smuggler cave, warm up, drink some tea for the last week. For at least a week. I hope Rob hasn't eaten all the cakes. <laughs> Lucy, stop tickling. What? That isn't you. Help! A shark, Lucy! There's a shark! Help! It's biting my wooden leg! Oh no, it is pulling me out to sea! Save me! This poor man cannot catch a break! <laughs> You know what, I'm on, I'm on Bob's side. Bob, Bob, I'm team Bob, actually. Now I gotta go find him again. And I'm running into rocks, this guy's screwed. Help, somebody save me from this shark. Just get out of the water, it's like walking. You can pull yourself up there. There is two sailors across the water just watching him and they don't care. Help me, Lucy, the shark will soon figure out that the leg is only wooden. Here, catch Lucy. Hit the shark on the nose with my wooden leg. Use it like a club. The worst thing for a shark is to be hit on the nose. Here it comes again. Save me. <laughs> I'm on my way. Get over here. Come on. There we go. I have to dismount? Okay. Whatever. This is a mess. This is a disaster. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's on his way. Do you get your leg back at least? Oof. You did it, Lucy. The shark is swimming back out to sea with the red nose. I can't wait to be back on dry land again. Oh, it's going to be so nice to be on dry land again. Finally. Wait. Do you hear that, Lucy? It sounds like a small car or something. Hmm? There are no cars in Golden Hills Valley. Oh no, not again! What's happening? <laughs> this poor man! Oh my god, how? How? There's not even space for it here! Okay, alright. Smugglers, bah, they're the worst things ever. Doesn't help. We need to save poor Bob. <laughs> Smuggler Bob? Yes, he tried to sneak onto my boat a little while ago, but I wasn't having any of that. I smacked him with a boat hook until he let go. Help, help, he kept saying, ha, <laughs> like I was falling for that one. No stowaways on my boat. He wanted help, but I'll believe that when shrimps grow rings. Keep away from those rotten dogs, Lucy. Yes, yes, if you really must know, he swam away towards Golden Leaf Stables Island. You'll have to have, ugh, you'll have to look around the beaches. He, there for that old stinky walrus. Leave poor Bob alone. You know, I am team Bob. Team Bob all the way. Is he free? Can we finally help this poor man? Am I am I allowed to take my horse up here? Yes. I'll take that. He's finally free. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Finally. At last, I have one foot and one wooden leg on dry land again. Thank you, Lucy. And you're here too, Rob. You better not have eaten all the cakes. The only thing I want to do right now is drink tea and eat cake. Bob. Rob happy. Rob very happy. Rob, you doofus. If it hadn't been for Lucy, I might have been eaten up by that shark. But I forgive you. Just don't let your stomach control you in the future. Now let's go back to our smuggler cave and play games, drink tea, and eat some cake. No more adventures for me. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bobbly Bob. Rob happy. Bob gets cake, must, gets cake, must hog Bob. Must hog. Must hug Bob. Hug. Ow, crab, crab bite toe. Ow. God, I can't read. I, uh, go, and he's in the water again. 
Ugh, what is happening to me? This really isn't my day. Ugh, what's going to happen this time? Come on, you darn sea, give me your worst. No sharks? No octopus? No wicked currents? Aha! A boring underwater current is taking me out to sea again. It would have been, it could have been worse, Lucy. This feels almost like a vacation. We'll see you again soon if you have the time to come rescue me one more time. Aw, oh, poor Bob. I could have just pulled him out. Or not. Oh. Bob gone. Not good. And we got a timer. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, and we're gonna do this next because this is all rep stuff. And I don't know for sure. I feel like I started these. Qu I could be wrong. Wait, we're gonna run up. Oh, I came in down that way. But I think we started these quests. No, I don't know. Anyways, this is all gonna be rep stuff. So might as well start it now so I can do that on my free time. Listen up, my partnered super fertilizer seems to be working too well. It isn't only the flowers that grow quickly, but the weeds as well. Well, we can't have the, that, can we, dearest Lucy? It's time for you to roll up your sleeves and do some honest, old-fashioned work. You look a little too frail to use my chainsaw. Don't you eat enough breakfast? Anyway, this is what we should do. Take these garden shears and clear out all the weeds in the sun garden. Don't come back until all the weeds are gone. Get to it. Go on. Go. Alright, let's go. Good. The weeds are all gone like they should be. Very well done. Lucy, come over here for a second. You, this is no good. You did a poor job fixing those pipes in the sun garden, and now they're spraying water all over the place again. We don't like this kind of bad quality work here, dear Lucy. You'll have to run down there and repair those pipes again. But make sure you do it properly this time. I've got my eyes on you, Lucy. I was not trained for this. I did not do anything that would prepare me to know how to fix pipes. But okay, yeah, I'll do what you want. There we go. I don't see any water spraying anywhere anymore. Doesn't that feel good, Lucy? Real honest, hard work is like food for the soul. Like a tell Bjorn anyways. Or I don't think that's what the sentence was. Oh well. <laughs> now we'll wait and see what happens. Hold on there, Lucy. I have a serious situation here that I need to take care of. You want to help? That's the right attitude, Lucy. I can always count on you. Through thick and thin. Listen up now. Some sneaky parasites have snuck into the garden and are trying to steal the fruits of our labor. This those biters are sneaky as can be, and I haven't managed to catch a single one of them. I'm completely exhausted. No matter how quick I am, they always jump back down into their holes as soon as I get close. I think you need to sneak up on them. Maybe you can give it a try? Good. Take this cage and stuff it and stuff it with those little guys. You'll need to sneak up on them to catch them. Remember that. Alright, let's, let's catch some squirrels. Done, dear little Lucy. What a racket they're making in the cage. What should we do with these little parasites? I'd like to throw them off a cliff, but Bjorn would never accept anything like that. We can send them to old Steve's. He and I don't really get along, but take the little guys here. He enjoys little creeps like these. Birds of a feather, I guess. Haha. -ha. What do you want, Bjorn? Wait, I have a vision. Yes, that is how it should be. Think, Lucy, you are sitting in the sun garden, surrounded by our beautiful flowers. What could be more rea relaxing than that? I'll tell you, a little pool with bubbling fresh water. Luckily, we have a pool here, but there are so many holes in it that I'm afraid to fill it with water. If you can find stones for me to patch it up, we can't, we can't just use any old rocks, though. They need to be exactly the right kind, otherwise it'll look really awful. You understand that? Perfect stones can only be found in one place in all of Garvik, below the cliffs near the vent yard. So it isn't that far away, which is a really good thing, right? Right over there near the riding arena and collect some of those perfect stones. Hurry. Alright, so we're gonna go do that and then we'll go to Steve. Uh, Alex? What? Okay, I don't. No. We. I'll deal with you later. Is that a. 
Interesting. Okay, we will deal with that at a later date. Not right now. Right now, not my problem. Okay, Steve. New home for the chipmunks. Chipmunks, how nice. My own little chipmunks need some new friends. Agnetha, she is completely mad, Lucy. Are you sure you're going to work with her? Did you know that she worked on my farm before? But it didn't work out. Even on Sundays, she was out there chopping wood and plowing the fields. I suggested that she take some time off, but that really sent her into a frenzy. I was afraid of going out of my house until after dark. I had to let her go. It was just too nerve-wracking to have her around. But send my greetings to Bjorn and let him know that the chipmunks are going to have a good home here. Bye-bye, Lucy. Alright, and we're heading back. Hello, Lucy. Our little chipmunks are going to have a good life over at Steve's. That is great news. Agnetha can get a little fired up when she thinks people are not working hard enough, but she doesn't get along well with... So she doesn't get along well with Steve. I think it's a little sad since Steve and I have a lot in common. But listen, Lucy, we need to work 24-7 to get these flowers to bloom. We can't do it without your help, so please come here every day and take care of a few things. And before you know it, it'll be harvest time, and I'm so excited. Let's see. Hmm... These will be perfect. I'm going to repair the pool and turn on the water right away. Right over and take a look, Lucy. <gasps> there we go. I genuinely can't even remember if there was water in there beforehand or not. Obviously, there probably wasn't. But, like, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, and then these are just, like, the daily tasks. And we're going to do those. All right, I think I'm gonna end it off here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast as per usual, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.